Hi, I'm Lynn from Lynn C Designs and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK. Today I'm coming on to show you a version of this card. This is one of the cards we made at my stamp class the other week and it's a simple Z fold but it's really, they're really easy to make um, but they're just a little bit different so let me show you what I'm using. I've got the Beauty Abounds stamp set which is really lovely. I'm using um, one of the butterflies, one of the little butterflies from the Butterfly Gala. So I'm going to punch that out with the Butterfly Duet Punch. And I've used one of the rectangled from rectangles from the Stitched Rectangles dies. So they're lovely, those. I'll show you what cardstock I'm yeah. using. And it's a very limited paddle, uh, palette. So I've got a Whisper White card base, which is half a sheet of A4, 21 centimetres by 14.9. It's scored at 10 and a half centimetres and 5.25. So you, you, bend, you, you crease it, reinforce the fold there like you would normally, and then fold that flat back and reinforce the fold. A bit of Poppy Parade DSP which is 4.9 by 14.6 just to leave a little border round the edge. Then I've got a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock that is cut at, for the inside bit. That is cut by 10 by 14.4. I've got a whisper white layer to mat on top. That's cut half a centimetre shorter, so that's nine and a half by 13.9. Here's the stitched rectangle. So the stitched rectangle is the 6.6 .6 by 10 centimetres. And then I've cut a bit of so saffron to go underneath it, which is um, 7.1 by 10 and a half so that's going to be the little flap there so let's get the whisper white and we will do the stamping let's get some grid paper all of the measurements both um, imperial and metric will be over on my blog together with some other examples um, of this type of um, fun fold. So um, let's get on and do the stamping. So I'm li literally just going to use Memento Black and So Saffron today, trying to keep the colour palette, um, limit the colour palette. So let's see if we can get these sentiments straight on camera doing it from an angle that's not bad I never know whether I've actually got my labels on these straight now that's I'm happy with that so uh, we'll we still need the black but we I always like to put my lid on just in case I managed to do a little smudge somewhere, you never know. So I'm going to just use the little speckled one actually today. Um, and I'm stamping off a couple of times because I want this really light. go and that's just really lovely it just softens the whisper white down and I'm going to do the same um, but I'm going to do full strength on some remember to 
twist the stamp round a little. Doesn't really matter. We're just creating a little bit of an edge. And just be mindful of when you come in this way that we're going to meet up. And I'm happy with that. So uh, bring back, I'm going to bring back a little scrap of Whisper White. Now I've got the butterfly that I want um, mounted, but I just want the little one. So I'm going to try and just come in. At the, this is my the way I do it anyway. So come in and just ink up rather than cut them, which some people do. I find this is the easiest way. It doesn't really matter if you get black on the other bit. I will show you, which I did a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You're just going to punch that out anyway. So what did I do with punch? There we go. Excuse me. Slurp of tea. And then you can come in. Position. It's going to cut a little bit of extra, cause a little bit of extra, but it doesn't really matter. Now, do I want three or do I want five? Should have done a few more. So we're going to, there we've got five there. do this quickly Ooh. now I have got my cleaner off to the side so we'll put those dirty stamps on there let's quickly punch these out now there is in this stamp set there is a little um, stamp for the bodies but um, even though they're photopolymer and you can see through them, it's just sometimes quicker. Let me just get rid of the debris. I don't need that scrap anymore. Sometimes it's just easier if you struggle. So I'll show you. This is the little body. It's slightly fatter in one end, but because I'm doing this, oh, I managed to line that one up quite well. But if you're not very good at lining up, just come in with the um, basic black marker. And you can draw in your body just as quick, just as effective. There we go, happy with that. Now I'm going to leave those black and white. Um, just come in with, I guess I should have done this before I always do this wrong. Just going to give those a little shimmer. It's probably easier to do that before I punch them out. could if you wanted to um, pick up some of the ink from the so saffron and colour those in. And I think actually that's still got the last time I used this had I used um, gorgeous grape and it's got a little bit of gorgeous grape in that in there. That's right, and they just sparkle. So we'll pop those to that side and we'll just get sticking on. So, this using my memento glue, Do 
gives you a little room to maneuver. I think I said you can find all of the details for this card, um, all the measurements and scoring over on my blog, which is www.linicdesigns.blogspot.com. Um, and I'll put some photographs of some other cards that I've made um, with, the same, with the same set um, or with the same design. Um, one is really pretty. Um, I'm very pleased with myself. I've managed to, using uh, the perennial flower, um, punch and tissue paper I've managed to do a really pretty flower um, which I'm very pleased about so this we have to work out where we're going to put it so it's on this end but I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do a little line down that edge there because you don't want glue on that part that's the easiest way for me to do it and then just eyeball it a little and that's the beauty of wet glue it gives you time to have a little move about and then we've got our lovely little butterflies going to just quickly give those a little bit of a, a bend in the middle and I am just going to you could use a glue dot but I'm quite good at just putting a little bit of glue down because you don't need much I've told you before. And then let's have some butterflies in about on this card. So I kind of had this in mind. And designed, designed this one on the hoof a little bit so there we go that was the original and I used the kind of bubbles and a retired um, punch but I don't get rid of any of my punches because I just love the quality of these things they last for years and although we get lots of new goodies and I have got some new goodies to share with you over the coming weeks um, well, you guys are just building up my stash. Anyway, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment. I'd love to know what you think. And I will see you again soon.